Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Roxiano here. First off, I want to thank you for over 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me that I have people that are interested in watching my videos. You guys are awesome. Today I'll be trying something new. I'll be trying Ren Pi Visual Novel Studio. And this will be a first for me uh, up until this point. If you don't know me, I've made videos about Tyranno Builder and Visual Novel Maker. I used each of those softwares to create a game. First with Hotel Tut when I used Tyranno Builder, and then I am using Visual Novel Maker currently to create my game Kiss Upload. But today it's all about RenPy for the very first time. Let's get right to it. All right, here I am on renpy.org. This is where I'll be downloading the latest version of RenPy. Looks like a very clean site. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is featured on here. Someone once before compared my game to that and that made me really happy. <laughs> computer tried to block it there for a second. So I did no research on this whatsoever beforehand, so I'm just jumping right into it. Uh, let's see, tutorial looks promising. Uh, I gotta find a way to run it first. Uh, there it is. Oh my god. I feel stupid sometimes. <laughs> From here we can go to launch project and it's a tutorial and wow that actually looks like a place that I've been before here in New York <laughs> hi my name is Eileen and I'd like to welcome you to the RenPy tutorial I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So this is exciting. I get to learn a new thing. Quick start. What would you like to see? I guess we'll just go in order. I read a little bit. I didn't really read a lot of it. I kind of want to do it as I go because that's how I learn. So right now we're just going to create a new project. And I will choose where it goes. I'll make a new folder first. <laughs> Oops, oh, I accidentally quit. new project and I will put it in this RenPy project folder English language project yep I speak English so that works <laughs> name of the project um, something to make because I'm making it and I'll do a 720p this time. Hmm, interesting, I get a color choice. Full mm. screen, what is planetarium? It's grayed out. Whatever it is, I can't use it right now. I'm gonna go with this uh, pink color here. It's my brand of colors. <laughs> And now it looks to be loading. Launch project. <laughs> this is cool. You've created a new RenPy game. Huh. It has everything built in already. Quit. And then 
and okay. Okay, let's go to Google. Okay, so if you click on game, it brings us to the file folder inside of the project. one is the recommended one and then since I'm not experienced with coding I'll choose this one and I did not research any of this I'm just trying to do it as I go I'm not even sure I'm doing it right right now <laughs> okay update update was installed what is this sure and then we've got an images folder get that. Those are the pieces of the many that we've seen so far. Alright, so this is everything that came with it in the GUI folder. There's no audio yet, no images yet. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it is very, very long. The screens, okay. Be the menus and stuff yeah so there's a lot to take in right now and since i am a a complete beginner this is a little strange for me but i can see these things that are kind of like flagging at me uh and this is an explanation so what i'm gonna start doing is just gonna put in some images and see how that changes things so I'm going to add a background now. And I... Oh, how do I do that? New file? Interesting. So first I'm going to make a folder in here. In my project folder. Images. Oh, I can just drag them into this image folder. So that's what I'm going to start to do here. I'm just going to start with a background. I'm just going to pull something right from my Kiss Upload game. This nice beach background, I guess. <laughs> Oops, I moved it there. I'll copy and paste it in here yay beach day and here i can already see that it dropped right into the images folder and we are going to type in beach day i'm going to save this and i'm going to see if that changed it Aha, there it is with my beach background now. So I'm going to create a new folder background. I'm gonna see if I can do it right in here. I'm gonna drag this right into backgrounds. And RenPy should just find the beach day beach day photo within my backgrounds folder. And then I'll create a new one called characters. Just like how nice and simple and sleek everything looks in this. There's not like a big, you know, overwhelming sections and dark mode is really awesome too. And you do have to have multiple windows open, but I really don't mind that at all. You know, just so you can launch your project, preview it, if I want to code. And then go back into the coding screen. So it's not all there on one screen. You can switch back and forth to the preview and the code. And I'm gonna add into the folder. I'm just gonna add a character from the game. Let's just do this one. Oh, 
so now it's in the characters folder in the game project it's called normal lit 2 because I had a dark version and a light version anyway Just because that's the file name, I'll type that in. Press save. Now I'll launch the project to see if it works. And she's humongous. And in complete beginner mode. <laughs> Wonder, can I change the size in this software or do I have to change the file size? It must be a sort of command to change the size, unless I change the size of the character in the file, but then I wouldn't be able to change the position of the character. So there's got to be a list of commands that I can reference somewhere. And I'm going to work on finding that list of commands that I can use. Oh, there's an X align and Y align that just jumped out to me. These are probably settings to uh, choose where on the screen the image will be placed. Style command, and then this probably means I can put the image here and then do an X align and Y align type deal. And I'm not sure how to change the size next, but I'm going to see if I can try to move her to the right. Let's see. Style. Normal lit to X align five point zero, and I'll probably move her down. Y line five point zero. I'm gonna see if that did something. If it did, I am a genius because I did not put any research into this whatsoever. I'm just trying to. Nope, that did nothing. What if I enter it down? Oh. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go to the tutorial project to try to find the, uh, actually, what is this, script? No, I'm gonna go to my original <laughs> idea. I'm gonna go to the tutorial to try to find the list of commands I can use in the software to see if it covers that or tells us flat out where they would be. It's actually telling me how to use certain keywords instead of giving me a list of commands that I can just put in there. Uh, positioning images, there we go, that's what I want. Goodness. Okay. Show an image, and then a colon, and then indent the X and Y. Let's try that right now. So I don't want to do the style. I want to do a colon, then an indent X and Y. Uh, I'm not sure what that will do, but let's save it and preview the project. Okay, so now we see her face, and that's what I wanted to do. The tutorial that they provided that is built in is actually very useful if you know where to look for what you need to do. So basically, if you have a question that needs answered, like how do I position this image, you can go in there and it'll be in one of the sections of the tutorial. This Eileen character will explain things as if 
she's talking to us and having a conversation with us, which is different. It's not just here's a column, here's a set category, and then this is how you do it and you read it or it's or a video or whatever. It's just as a visual novel, which is pretty neat. That's how I do that. And then E is I defined as Irene. So we can define our own characters here. And we can even add the colors that they that we want to display the names in. This one doesn't have a color. The game goes in this file. Okay, so I won't be able to start a new scene. So it's not scene by scene, it's just with a script. So I can this can be a very long script, or I wonder if I can make multiple scripts. All of these are questions that I will have to ask later. <laughs> okay, so let's make this new character say something, and what will her name be? I'm gonna define a new character under here. R an equal sign. Oops, that's not an equal sign. <laughs> Character. Why did everything become green? R0887 because that is what her name is in Kiss Upload. Now that we've had that, we can actually delete all these because there's no Eileen in our game. R says, who are you? <laughs> Very boring, I know. I just didn't know what else to say. Uh, the technical difficulties are very strong today. I just had to restart my computer three times because reasons, obviously. Uh, um, there we go. So it finally managed to load after a few seconds. So start, she says, who are you? Click again, it returns back to the menu. The quit. And I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, so this return right here at the, at the bottom is what takes you back to the menu once the dialogue finishes. That's basically all I need to start a simple scene and complete a scene in a story. Well, overall, my first impression was that it's nice. Uh, the tutorial is very helpful and you can have multiple windows open at once. You can have the coding and you can launch the project while you code. I'm pretty happy with the way I stumbled upon each of these visual novel engines overall. I started out coding my first game, Hotel Tutwin, with Tyranno Builder, which is bare bones simple. And right now I'm using Visual Novel Maker, and in the future I might use RenPy for my third game. I love how it looks, I love typing things out, I love figuring out what goes where and putting projects together. It's definitely a more popular engine than Visual Novel Maker or Tyranno Builder. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next video. How do I say that? I can't see you in my videos. <laughs> I hope you'll watch the next video, is what I mean. Happy developing! Mwah.